Just want to be clear at the outset, this is not my first impression vlog for the North Face Flight Vective shoes. That's right, carbon fiber plate trail racing shoes. Oh man, I will do my first impression likely tomorrow, definitely in the next two or three days. So many topics to cover here on the channel, but I am taking them out yesterday for their first test. Isn't that the best tissue paper you have ever seen in a running shoe box. It's a topo map. It just and it obviously says never stop exploring the North Face tagline. Unbelievable. Um, so what I was alluding to in the kitchen this morning, I put it to a vote. That's right, producer poll, Brooks Caldera 5, Ultra Tim 3, Solomon S Lab Ultra 3, and yes, the North Face Flight Vective. If you voted, thank you so much. 50% of the vote went to the flight vector. So there they are. And oh my, I almost forgot. So I am, uh, you know, I'm out in the mountains a lot. I'm not always in the studio. I ordered this other, uh, this other scale to weigh shoes on the fly, on the go. But I'm realizing, I don't know if it, it comes with battery. Oh boy, let's see. Oh, it's a, it's a teeny tiny little baby scale. Oh, batteries in there. Pull this out here. Hold on. Whoop. Oh no, don't lose the battery. Oh baby. Okay, here we go. So I'm taking the taking the tag off. Okay, it's got a matrix upper, which any guesses before I put it on the scale? Guess down in the comments. All right, here we go. All right, I'm getting 9.3 ounces in my size. Okay, and again, I will continue to test this new scale, make sure it, it's accurate. I'll take these back to the studio, put them on the scale there. Very interesting. That's a an okay weight. It's not amazing for a trail shoe. It's okay. Uh, but I got to tell you, I'm kind of excited about it coming out of the box. It's not feeling too stiff. That's what That was my biggest worry about the North Face. Sometimes these outdoor companies make running shoes that uh, are more like hiking boots versus a running shoe. So I'm actually kind of excited about the overall flex of this dancing midsole. It's dancing 100%. Pretty crazy to be back on the trails. Falling in love with losing. I just realized this is gonna be publishing February 13th. Do I have my dates right? The day before Valentine's Day. Total coincidence, but sometimes life is all about timing. All right. Using this tree as a tripod for now. All right, I'm realizing there's a lot of uh, not hidden meanings, but different meanings in today's title of the vlog. So, losing in quotes, okay? What do I mean by that losing? We are not losing everybody when we fail out here as long distance runners. Trust me, I have lost many, many times in my 20 plus years of running. Uh, and I'll explain what I mean very, very specifically here in a minute uh, with respect to here in Boulder, Colorado. But I did post yesterday uh, all over the place. Many of you already saw me uh, post this, but it's just like, 
hit home to me. I think I was, the vlog was done a couple nights ago and I was just chilling, thinking, reflecting on a lot of different things. I think the kids were asleep and I just decided to post and I said this. Let me say it again. Failure only happens when you decide to stop pursuing your dreams, not when you fail 50 times along the way to that dream. We are going to fail. We're going to lose along the journey of running and frankly of life. And that is when we've got to pivot. We've got to think outside the box. We've got to get creative in our training. Oh gosh. So anyway, that's what I mean by losing. All right, almost done. Good to be out of the cold, that is for sure, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness, all right. There, uh, they arrived. Finally, they are here. So, you know what's in this. Talked about this a couple days ago. I have felt, I have felt as if I lost my left arm over the past, or right arm, either one, over the past, you know, two or three days because I did not have this pin to connect this camera, my go-to camera, the Canon 1D, to the tripod. So, oh, it's like, can you hear it? Can you hear it in there? Oh my goodness, very excited. All right, let me just open this here. Hold on. Please be the right size. Please be the right size. Allen wrench, it's your best friend as a videographer. Now we're ready to rock and roll. All right, since we're here hanging out on YouTube, I, I, I can't resist. Here we go. I'm very intrigued by the midsole, not so excited about the outsole, and the carbon fiber plate, I'm, uh, it's an unknown right now. I need to go faster in this shoe to test that carbon fiber plate, and I'm a little discouraged, if not very discouraged, about the collar of the shoe, and that is what wraps around your ankle. I'm stopping. I'm stopping there. First impression publishing in two or three days. Okay, here we go. Falling in love with losing. I wanna be very clear here, and I'm talking specifically, but this can, this can be applied to life as well, in general. Uh, not just the competitive side of being a racer, of jumping in races and jumping in FKTs, jumping in time trials, okay? Jumping in virtual races, whatever the case may be. Uh, but I am honing in at this point right now on that topic. All right, here we go. Uh, Boulder, Colorado. I've had an interesting... I guess uh, experience there in that town over the past, you know, 15 years since I went there as a freshman. So first of all, tried to walk onto the team, the cross country. Remember, I wasn't recruited. I know many of you know that, but wasn't recruited out of high school, had to walk on. I failed. Okay. That's a failure along the journey of life where I was excited. I put myself out there. I trained pretty hard, but it wasn't enough to walk on to at that time. They were actually coming off of the, a national championship. So again, I, if I would have known a little better about how to train, I think I could have done it my freshman year, but it didn't happen. I lost and therefore I had to bear with me, fall in love with losing in the sense that um, I'm not talking about forming a habit of losing. Okay, don't want to go there, right? I'm talking about falling in love with not being afraid to lose, okay? I was at that point a little naive about the CU cross country team, but if I would have been maybe more in the loop, I probably would, have, would not have even attempted to walk onto that team knowing how talented they were at that time. This would have been 2000. Four. So I trained alone, okay, came back my sophomore year, 2005, boom, walked on, all right? So again, that's the uh, falling in love or not being afraid to lose in order to get to that next logical step in your progression as a long distance runner, okay? That's example number one. Example number two is a little more raw and real. If you know what, I, you know what I'm about to, uh, about to share is that, uh, man, I thought I was fast. I'm trying to get fast, um, you know, trying to do this whole long distance mountain running thing. Not, you know, I'm not sponsored, even though I have a Reebok shirt on, I'm not sponsored by anyone, but I'm trying to hang with some of the best mountain runners in the world, okay? So you know what I'm about to say. Set the FKT on the Boulder Skyline Traverse. I think it was 
was it 24, hour late, 24 hours later or 48 hours later, the one and only Joe Gray shows up and I think he beat it by four, five, six minutes. I'm not exactly sure, I don't remember. That was a loss, okay? I did not win the FKT segment in order to qualify for the Golden Trail Series in the Azores in 2020, okay? But, but, this is where, again, falling in love with losing, now I can take that loss on the Boulder Skyline Traverse from 2020, boom, take it with me, and apply it to all of the training that's already happened in 2021 and apply it to, oh my goodness, the future training, getting ready for Glass City, 100%, but getting ready for Zegama, getting ready for Pikes Peak Marathon, the fire, the fuel that now is able to be applied into the future is off the charts. Like, if I thought I was driven in 2020, I don't, I don't know what's about to go down in 20. 21. So that's what I mean by the title of the vlog, falling in love with losing, not being afraid to lose on the journey of a long distance runner. And frankly, broadly speak speaking, uh, the journey of life, like life is just ups and downs, up and ups and downs. And it's of course, as I'm always saying, well, not always saying, but it's a, it's a common saying out there. It's like, it's not how many times you get knocked down. It's how many times you get back up. You know what I mean? So um, that little loss, my freshman year, that loss on the Boulder Skyline Traverse in 2020, boom. Let's make it happen in 2021. All right, everyone, here we go. Question of the day, what is a loss, whether it's in running or in life, that has set you up for incredible success down the road? Okay, try and be specific. If you can tell a good story, that's even better, all right? Like a really specific, and it could be in running or in life. Oh my, there's, I mean, if we were here talking about life, I could go on for hours and hours about that. All right, everyone, thanks for being here. Of course, I'll toss it to the Boulder Skyline Traverse, FKT. It was a good day. It was an exciting day. Short-lived, but it was exciting. Right there, right there, right there. All right, sing beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.